Since 2016, the city of Newburgh has collaborated with residents to help determine what we want our city to look like. New jobs, affordable housing, and helping businesses in our community succeed are all vital for Newburgh's future. Together, we've developed 11 master plans, including the Downtown Improvement Plan, Economic Development Strategy, the Riverfront Master Plan, and the Newburgh Community Vision for 2040. But how can we implement all of these plans? Urban renewal is a proven method to pay for the infrastructure that will attract new businesses, development, and jobs, all without raising taxes. There are currently over 130 active urban renewal plans in Oregon, including three in Yamhill County. Dundee, Carleton, and McMinnville all have urban renewal areas that have helped fund important projects and spur economic development. The money generated by urban renewal will be used to develop new infrastructure in Newburgh's riverfront area, encouraging new jobs and community growth. Urban renewal dollars will also be used to help revitalize downtown Newburgh through additional parking and a refresh of the West End Mill District. So if urban renewal doesn't raise taxes, where do urban renewal dollars come from? Urban Renewal pays for our identified projects with something called tax increment financing. Basically, the tax revenue from existing development within the Urban Renewal area, Newburgh Downtown, and the Riverfront will go to the existing taxing districts such as Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue, the Chehalem Parks and Recreation District, Yamhill County, and the city as they normally would. This tax amount is called the Frozen Base. Over the course of the 30-year urban renewal plan, any tax revenue created by new development and increased property values within the plan area would be used to fund projects to attract new businesses and development. The intent will be to spur new private investment and development, thereby creating more revenue for projects and spurring more development. Urban renewal is not a quick fix and it will take time to generate revenue and build infrastructure. At the end of the 30-year urban renewal plan, all of the tax revenue from the new developments would go back to the existing taxing districts, just as it did before the urban renewal plan. It should be noted that the Newburgh School District and the Education Service District would be impacted differently than other taxing districts. They will still receive increased tax revenue each year during the life of the urban renewal plan due to schools being funded on a per-pupil basis by the state school fund. Without the funds from Urban Renewal, the plans and projects we collaboratively identified as essential to Newburgh's future could be delayed or stalled. Hi, I'm Councillor Stephanie Finley from Newburgh, Oregon. With Urban Renewal funds, we can transform our waterfront area and improve our downtown. We can create new jobs and a more walkable community. We can realize the vision for Newburgh that we created together. For more information on urban renewal in Newburgh, go to newburgoregon.gov slash urban renewal.